So in this tutorial, I want to cover how to install Joomla on your HostGator account through Quick Install. It's very easy. So to begin, we'll need to log into our HostGator control panel. Typically, this is your domain name slash cPanel. So in this case, I'll put in a demo URL. And we'll need to log in with our HostGator account's username and password. And once we're logged in, we'll scroll down to the software services section and click on the quick install icon right here on the left. And then on the left hand side of this page we'll click under content management software, we'll click on Joomla and click continue. For the application URL this is the path that Joomla will be installed to. Now you can leave this blank and it'll install to the root of your domain name and can be accessed just by going to your domain name. If, However if you already have a website or any files into the root of your account, you may not want to just install it there and leave this blank. You may want to put in a path. So in our case, um, assuming we already have data on the root of our account, we'll make a subdirectory for Joomla, call it My Joomla, and then punch in an admin email. Make sure this is valid because Quick Install will send your password to this email address. And if you get yourself locked out of your account, you can reset your password or request a new password, and it'll send you the link to this email. Leave the app version default, 1.6 is fine and up to date as of the time of this recording. Uh, manual install will leave it no. Site name can be whatever you'd like to call your Joomla site. In our case, we'll just call it My Joomla Demo. Install sample content, we'll change this to no. And let's leave automatic updates enabled. Now go ahead and click install now. And quick install will begin downloading Joomla, um, creating your databases on HostGator and configuring those databases to work with Joomla. All right, now that's complete. We see that it's been installed. We can click here, and this will bring us right to our new Joomla website. And you can see in the URL, it's installed to slash my Joomla. Now would be a good time to check your email. Quick install would have sent you your password to your email address you put in. So let's bring that email into focus here, and we'll see the URL is slash administrator. So let's copy that and paste that in the browser and go there. So the username will be admin with our password in that email. Let's type in admin for username and paste that password. All right, click login. And now you're presented with the Joomla administration, administrator panel. Um, and uh, probably a good way to get started would be to add a new article and my first Joomla article will be the title for a new article. Um, if you enable it to featured it'll publish it to the front page and we can also do some other stuff here some advanced stuff and then set the metadata um, which we're going to ignore for now. So let's go ahead and fill some content in. All right, now that's complete. We can scroll through and we can ignore all of that stuff for now and just click save and close. Now if we scroll down we should be able to find that article. You can see it was saved successfully and it should be somewhere down here. Let's search for it. So here it is. You can see it's a star right here under featured and we can click on the article in a new tab and edit it again. Or if we go to our actual website by clicking view site here in a new tab, we can see the article was posted on our Joomla site. 